فاتحو السلام عليكم شكرا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد بن سيد الأول الأخير ماذا دعا رسول ماذا دعا سادة أصحاب رسول ماذا دعا مشاهد ودستور وأنا شاء الله فارز دعا سيدنا شيخ محمد بن الرحمن ودعا طريقاتنا والصحبة والخير في الجميع عشرة دون مبارك وصل إن شاء الله May the day of عشرة be blessed and may this day today be the means for goodness and blessings to occur so uh, this is a day of beautiful events and of beautiful states and things happen the way Allah Almighty wants them to happen and there is nothing that happens that does not happen the way Allah Almighty wants it to happen. Therefore, we must be aware of what we have been ordered to do and look at ourselves. Do not interfere with affairs that do not concern you. You need to look at your own ego. You need to focus on yourself and train your ego. Don't look at what others did. Others, the others concern Allah Almighty. Others do not concern you. Others and everything is under the judgment of Allah Almighty. May this day of Ashura always be the means for goodness and blessings to emerge and occur. And pay attention to what you need and what is required for you. And ask Allah Almighty for those things which you need. What is it that you need? It is first and foremost strong faith. You should ask Allah Almighty for strong faith. Ask Allah Almighty to be steadfast on the right way. Ask Allah Almighty for guidance for all Muslims. Ask Allah Almighty for His divine protection. Ask Allah Almighty for cure and healing and ask Allah Almighty for making a living and for sustenance. You may ask Allah Almighty for all these things. And ask Allah Almighty for these good things instead of interfering with others, instead of instead of Focusing on to others, focus on requesting Allah Almighty these good things. Every day, your prayers and supplications will be heard and accepted by Allah Almighty. However, the prayers are more likely to be accepted today. And this day today is a day where it is where goodnesses are more likely to occur and where they occur stronger than any other day do not become the puppet of shaitan do not think about 
and do not waste your thoughts about other things that do not concern you. Olanlardan Allah Azze ve Celle odur her şeyi yapan, her şeyi eden odur. You must know that everything happens through the will of Allah Almighty and everything happens as Allah Almighty desires it to happen. Onun bereketini ister talep ederiz. Ask Allah Almighty for blessings and barakah. Bereket ehli beyttedir. And the blessings and barakah are with the Ahlul Bayt. Onların da ruhaniyetleri, ruhları bizden memnun olsun. Onlar. And may, they, may their souls and their spirituality be pleased with us. Burada okuruz. Onların bereketine o, e, bereketleniriz. And it is through their blessings and it is through their barakah that we obtain the blessings and the barakah of Allah Almighty. Şifa olur, her türlü eğilik olur. And they are the cure and the means for goodness in all kinds of ways, the Ahlul Bayt. Allah, uh, onlarla beraber olan daima. May we always be with them. Onlarla haşra olan. May we be with them in this world and in the hereafter. Uh, muhabbetleri Peygamber Efendimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem söyledi. Onlara e, bize o bereketi bırakmış. And it is the love of the Ahlul Bayt which our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him left us. Onlara sevgimiz, onlara Kur'an azim şana tabi olmamız. It is their love which we inherited from our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him and it it is their love and the Holy Quran as well, which we inherited from our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him. And these are the two things our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, mentioned when he said, I leave behind two things. And as long as you hold tight to the Holy Quran and to the love of the Ahlul Bayt, then you will always win. But if you leave them, then you will lose. There are some who leave the one, there are some who leave the Quran, there are some who leave the love of the Ahlul Bayt. Allah'a şükür, tarikat, hakikat, ikisini beraber but we are thankful that we follow this way, which teaches us, as part of the tariqa, to accept both and to follow both tariqa and hakika. And we follow the way and the words and obey the words of our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him. Yeterir. And following these words and following the way of our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, will bring us all kinds of goodness and blessings in this world and as well as in the hereafter. If you deviate, go astray from this way and make up your own things, then you will not be successful in any way. And therefore, we thank Allah Almighty that He allowed us and enabled us to follow this way. This is the beautiful way. There are many people who have lost their ways. They do not know what, what to do. This day of Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, is a blessed day. It is the day on which the prayers and supplications are heard. There are certain obligations or certain things to be observed during this day. There is a special prayer consisting of four rekah, which is dedicated to the special day of Ashura, which sh sh shall be performed by reciting 11 ikhlas. They are zikr and tasbih to be made. 
faydalı olur. And it is recommended to recite a thousand ikhlas up until Maghrib and there is great blessings and rewards in it. Ee, çok büyük fayda var. It will be the means to obtain great benefits. Hayır hasanat günün e, sahat afiyet için Peygamber Efendimiz tavsiye ettiği gibi e, av, bir, a, a, gusül, bir daha Good deeds shall be performed throughout the day and as our Prophet peace be upon him recommended one should make gusl a full body ablution in order to gain health throughout the upcoming year. And one should buy, make provisions at home and give sadaka. Inshallah faydası olan şeyler bunlardır. And to do, do these things will be beneficial for us. Allah hem dünya için hem ahiret için dünyalık da Müslümana lazımdır. And this way we will receive the blessings for this world as well as for the hereafter. As we live in this world we also need to make sure to receive the blessings in this world. Kimse muhtaç olmasın. Allah kimse muhtaç etmesin. Because it is good to not depend on others and we should pray that we, to Allah Almighty that we do not up in a state where we depend on to others in this world. Allah uh, herkese ferahlık versin. May Allah Almighty grant refreshment to everyone. Bu sıkıntıda olan Müslümanlara da Allah yardım etsin. And may Allah Almighty help those Muslims that are now in a situation of distress. O sıkıntılar zahir olsun inşallah. And may those difficulties and troubles they undergo go away. Amin Allah'a tevfik al-Fatiha.